Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about the remote control assembly for the MGB gearbox, the MGB L Synchro gearbox. Now there are two styles on the overdrives. I had a call today on, on my technical hour and I thought I'd make this video to, uh, to show the difference between these two styles. Um, and um, we've practiced, Trevor and I have practiced here a little bit with the light because we've got to see down inside some holes. So look carefully, we'll, we'll try to show this up uh, as carefully as we can. Anyway, between 1968 and 1976, the MGB gearbox works, the overdrive works in third and fourth. Then 77 through 80, it works in fourth gear only. Let me show you how that stuff works. And in addition, as long as we're showing that, I'm going to show you how the, how the reverse light switch works. So come on in. Here we have the tail housing of the MGB gearbox. And here is the, the selector that is moved and turned by the remote control housing. Your, your gear lever sits, I have the gear lever here, the gear lever sits back, back, back here. And uh, this, this cup on the underside here fits into the hole here. But when we go to engage reverse gear, uh, we push a, a detent up here. Okay? You can see me push that. Right? Now if we look down inside the first hole here, which we're going to try to show as best as we can, you can see some deflection. All right? And in the bottom hole you can also see some deflection of a pin. Well, let's take a look. The bottom hole is the easier one. That's, that's the one that takes the reverse light switch. And when the pin comes down, it presses up on here and makes a contact. And, uh, and the reverse lights come on. That guy will move him over here. We'll put him in the, in the gearbox here. So that now when we go to operate this, it pushes up on the pin and this guy closes. Now to keep us from falling into gear too easily, we've got this spring-loaded device here. Now sometimes, whoops, easy for me to do. Sometimes your, your reverse is too easy to enter, which means you've got to take this out. You can get to this right underneath the car, 5 8 wrench. Take him out, oil him up. Sometimes he's really stiff and you can barely, barely get into reverse. In both those cases, unscrew this guy. It's a 5 8 5 8 wrench and, uh, and tighten him up. Now he's getting so tight now that I cannot move him by hand. I cannot get that to throw out. But if I put a little shock on it with a hammer, okay, I can get it to, to work. But if I tighten this guy up all the way, don't get him snug, just tighten him up until he stops, I cannot with a hammer even get that to, to throw out. And you know how difficult it is to engage reverse when you have to slap the uh, gear levers with such great force, and that of course is to prevent you from getting the the uh, getting it into reverse instead of getting it in, in into to second. Backed off here, I can show you again that 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 works, and that's that's that uh, tremendous click sound that you get when you slap it into reverse. Now this guy up here, this guy. Look at these, huh? They're different. 68 through 76, I think. 77 through 80. Well, why are these different? Well, let's go look on the underside of the remote control. Now, the remote control housing up here also has a spring-loaded... Let me see if I can get this guy in the vise. The... Uh, now we're going to end up with him up, upside down. We also have another spring-loaded pin up here. All right, that's for um, all the 77 through 80s, um, which which have the TCSA, the Transmission Controlled Spark Advanced Circuit, and that also runs the overdrive. Now this guy up here fits into here, and when so I can do this when this guy is, is uh, sliding sliding uh, towards the front sliding towards the front I, I just I can't hold it and do all this stuff in place but as this slides towards the front this pushes this pin this pin can we see down inside here see how that pin moves 
okay and that pin operates the overdrive or TCSA switch which is exactly the same switch as the reverse light switch it's the same, same switch my caller today said that his was stuck his was stuck well there's no way to get this apart and lubricate it unless you take your eighth inch punch and uh, drive out our little our little pin here and then sure this guy should pop right out good thing I've got a screwdriver handy to help him pop right out here's our spring-loaded pin and uh, this has got a cutaway on one side for the pin that we just drove out and a cutaway on this side to operate the overdrive or TCSA switch so the point of this is that to change this guy or to free him up you have to take the remote control off the car which is really really sad because that's a very difficult job to do in place although it is possible barely possible anyway that's what I want to show you today the reverse light switch which you can repair if it's either sticky or or too too loose you can take this guy loose drool oil into here put him in your cross cross member on the gearbox is right underneath here you can reach right up and get to him easy as pie however the um, the switch up here is the least accessible electrical component in the vehicle and you have to drop the drive shaft drop the exhaust drop the uh, cross member on the gearbox let the gearbox fall down and then you can get in and reach it of course the only time you have to do that is if you've got overdrive and when this fellow called today his complaint was that his overdrive was on all the time and it was not the switch which had simply gone continuous all the time but that pin which had, lock had locked in place that's about it for those of you who saw me down in St. Louis this past weekend the 27th of, uh, of September it was a real good time at John Mangle's shop and I want to remind you again we're going to be in Waco Texas uh, on the 20 hmm, help me out here the 24th of October and you can contact the organizers in Waco by emailing Waco GOF 2008 at AOL that's Waco that's where it is David Koresh Janet Reno and me um, Waco GOF gathering the faithful 2008 that's this year at AOL.com. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for your comments on MGB Experience, and we'll tune in with you soon.